Let us know how to write our standard equation of a circle with given endpoints of a diameter. The diameter, by the way, is a line segment that passes through the center and the endpoints are on the circle. So let us start with this first example. Endpoints of a diameter are 1, 3 and 6, 7. So how do we look for or how do we write our standard equation of our circle? Now take note, standard equation of the circle. This is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. We've got hk as the center and we've got our r as the radius. So how do we look for the center and so with our r squared? So what we are going to do is first, we need to look for the center. So to find or to solve for the center, we are going to utilize the idea of the midpoint. So we will be using midpoint formula. So I hope you still remember midpoint formula. We've got that one as x sub one plus x sub two divided by two y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 because center is at the middle of the diameter because again as I've defined diameter it is an, a line segment that passes through the center and the endpoints are on the circle so that means to say that the center of the diameter is also the center of the circle. So let us now use this one this will be our x sub 1 y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, and plug it in here. So we've got the midpoint. x sub 1 is 1 plus our x sub 2 is 6. We divide that 1 by 2. Then y sub 1 is 3. Then y sub 2 is 7. And then we divide that 1 by 2. So our midpoint now is 7 over 2, and then we've got 10 over 2. We simplify this one, so our midpoint is 7 halves and 5. So that will be now our center of the circle. So let's try to go over to writing our, or plugging that in on our standard equation of the circle. So again, this is our center, 7 over 2 and 5. So we've got x minus h. Our h here will be replaced with the value there on x. So this will be our h. This will be our k. So we have x minus 7 over 2 squared plus y minus our k is 5 squared and that's equal to r squared. Now again, this is not yet the standard equation of the circle because we don't have an r squared. So let us solve for r squared. So solving for r squared, we'll be utilizing this one. So x minus seven over two squared plus y minus five squared, that will be equal to r squared. And again, we will be choosing any number here to use or any coordinate to utilize and replace our x here. So let us use this one. So again, we've got 1 minus 7 over 2 squared plus y, y here will be replaced by 3 minus 5 squared. That's equal to r squared. So our 1 could be written as 2 over 2. That's simply equal to 1. I'm using that one because we've got a fraction here with 2 as the denominator. And then minus 7 over 2 squared plus 3 minus 5, that's negative 2 squared. That's equal to r squared. So 2 minus 7, that's negative 5 over 2 squared. And plus negative 2 squared, that's 4, equal to r squared. Negative 5 over 2 squared, we are going to distribute this one here. So this is now 25 over 4 plus 4 equal to r squared. Now since we're looking for our r squared, we need to simplify this one by 
simply multiplying this is with 4 over 1 we just simply multiply this one with the denominator which is 4 and also this one here with 4 so that we can have similar fraction so 25 over 4 plus 16 over 4 this is equal to r squared so our r squared is 25 plus 16 that will be 41 over 4 so this will be our r squared now we are going to replace it here on our standard equation of the circle so let me just erase this one and replace that one with 41 over 4 so that is how we do our standard equation of the circle so let us now go for another example so endpoints of the diameter are negative 2 negative 4 and negative 5 and 2 so again we'll start with x minus h squared plus y minus k squared that will be equal to r squared then again we need to look for the center so solve for the center so we will be using our midpoint formula x sub 1 plus y sub 1 over 2 and sorry that should be x sub 1 I mean x sub 2 and we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2 and then we have our we can name this one as x sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 1 y sub 2 so plugging that in we have x sub 1 negative 2 plus negative 5 over 2 and then we have y sub 1 which is negative 4 plus 2 over 2 so this is now m with negative 2 plus neg negative 5 that's negative 7 over 2 then we have negative 4 plus 2 that will be negative 2 over 2 simplifying that one we've got negative 7 over 2 and this is negative 1 so this will be our center negative 7 over 2 and negative 1 so let us now um, plug that in plug the center to our equation we've got x minus our h is negative 7 over 2 we square that one plus y minus our k is this one negative 1 we square that one and that's equal to r squared simplifying this one this is x plus 7 over 2 squared and that's plus y plus 1 squared that's equal to r squared so let us now look for r squared so we utilize that one we have x plus 7 over 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared that's equal to r squared x we can utilize any coordinate so let me just have this one negative 2 plus 7 over 2 squared plus our y is negative 4 plus 1 squared that's equal to r squared next we are going to simply multiply this is with 1 as a denominator so we multiply that one with 2 over 2 because of this denominator of 7 halves here so this is now negative 4 over 2 plus 7 over 2 squared plus negative 3 squared equal to r squared negative 4 plus 7 that's positive 3 halves squared and then we have plus 9 equal to r squared so squaring the fraction here we just have to distribute our square so this is now 9 over 4 plus 9 equal to r squared so this is understood with one as a denominator so let's multiply this one with the denominator here so that we can have similar fraction so this is now 9 fourth plus 9 times 4 that's 36 over 4 that's equal to r squared so we've got 9 plus 36 that will be 45 over 4 equal to r squared so replacing this one here with a value for r squared that is now 
x plus 7x squared plus y plus 1 squared equal to 45 over 4. So that is how you write your standard equation of the circle with the given the endpoints of diameter.